Here is my 22 week bump. Good morning guys and welcome to my channel. Today I will be revealing our sweet baby boy's name in my 22 week update. I am 22 weeks and three days, I think. So first I will do the name reveal, but I have a little of a backstory. So with our first, we chose um, Jacob around 14 weeks. And with our second one, we chose it after 20 weeks. It was of, for some reason, that pregnancy, it was really hard to choose a name, just nothing felt right. And this one, we pretty much had a name. Um, so once we got pregnant, uh, we pretty much had a name. And for our gender reveal, we had the name, but we weren't 100% sure but right after our 14 week gender reveal, we were set on this name. And for all of our kids, we just um, looked for names until a name just felt right. Like just for some reason, that name felt right for that baby. And it just felt like it was meant to be. And especially this name, I don't, quite remember if I was, um, if I just found out that I was pregnant or I was pregnant, but I didn't know quite yet that I was pregnant, but we were trying. So I knew the possibilities of that I could be pregnant. Um, I was driving alone, which rarely happens. And I just, for some reason, had a sense of like I had a sense of feeling and I touched my belly and I said, sweet baby. And then I said the name and then I kind of just shrugged it off. I'm like, I don't even know who I'm having or if I'm pregnant. I, I can't exactly recall if I knew I was pregnant already or not, but I was pregnant already then. But I just don't remember if I already knew it or I didn't know it yet. Um, and I just kind of shrugged it off because I was like, well, you know, maybe it's a girl. I was hoping, you know, I was, I was hoping for the last one to be a girl, but this whole, from the beginning of my pregnancy, I felt like it was a boy. Um, and so, yeah, just, and then I just kind of forgot about it. And then when me and my husband started looking at names and I would just like say different names to my husband, just nothing really like clicked, nothing really felt right. And then for some reason, somehow we both came to the same name. Like we both to that name um, that I thought of in the car that just came to me. And it just felt so right. Like it just felt meant to be, which is weird that I didn't have that with my other boys, but it was very interesting, so. Let's do the name reveal. Our baby boy number three is gonna be named William Sergio Figueroa. And his middle name is gonna be his daddy's name. And that is what we decided for his name, middle name to be. As all of our kids have a middle name with starting with the S and we thought as our last baby that his middle name would be um, in honor of his daddy and grandpa as well. So sweet baby William. Um, it is finally starting to feel so real that I'm pregnant like this pregnancy has gone by um, pretty fast I know I still have about halfway to go actually today exactly it is four months exactly till my due date um, so from here on out it's gonna be a little little bit less than 
four months but um, I've started doing so many research on things preparing and just I will get into it in a sec but just starting to feel him kick a lot is making it feel more real that I'm like okay I should I'm halfway through my pregnancy I should probably start preparing for things I'm really happy that I have the bassinet that I got the bassinet so I know that there's a place for baby to sleep um but he's started he's been very he's an active little boy he moves a lot and i feel his kicks all throughout the day um, mostly towards the afternoon and at night is where i really can feel him kick and the other night my husband was actually able to feel a kick or two um but like i can really feel his kicks he's he's getting really strong in there um it's super exciting to feel him um like from already to feel him already um and so i've been writing like a whole bunch i've been writing and writing and writing a whole bunch of stuff of like what i need postpartum um what I need to buy for postpartum, um, about what I'm trying to make this birth, this labor to be a little bit more structured. Hopefully, if I will be able to in, go into labor naturally or kind of trigger my labor by inducing it at home just by doing some workouts and stuff. Uh, I have, I wrote out, I have been like doing a lot of research on um, how to induce labor at home, like eating pineapple, drinking red raspberry leaf tea, and I wrote down, and I wrote labor induction day, and I wrote everything that I'm planning on doing that day. Um, if I, this pregnancy, I've so far felt really good. Um, until recently, I've, st I've started having like some uh, tailbone pain sometimes or some pain in my hips when I walk. So that's like the only con I have from pregnancy. Um, he just kicked. So, but I, uh, I did go to a chiropractor and I'm doing some exercises. And I bought like a donut pillow that should help. And sleeping with the pregnancy pillow helps a lot um, to relieve that pain. And sometimes when I use the, if I sleep right using the pregnancy pillow, I will even not have pain the next day. Um, so just doing that stuff. So if I'm able to go... Uh, to my due date and I'm planning to do the induction day about a week after my due date um, So that's so far the plan if I'm still feeling good if I feel super exhausted Then I might try on my due date probably not earlier um, Yeah, so I'll probably try on my due date if I am just super exhausted and tired and then I have what I'm planning on doing in my early labor and in my active labor and then delivery. So this, with each of my labors, I try to go as natural, as long as possible natural um, without any pain medication to have as least amount of pain medication in my system and possibly to go without pain medication in my system to deliver without um, epidural. Um, but my last two pregnancies, I was induced. And my first pregnancy, how they induced me, 
I was two weeks over and they just broke my water. And as soon as they broke my water, I had super, super intense um, contractions and they would come one after another. And so I had no break. So I barely lasted two hours. And then I got the epidural because it was just, I had no breaks. If I had it like about a five minute break, I would be able to do it. But just a contraction, intense contraction, one after another, it was just, it was unbearable. And I didn't really prepare myself mentally or I was sitting in bed trying to go through those contractions. So it was just, it was awful. Like until I got that patrol, then everything was smooth and nice. Um, with my second pregnancy, I was in a lot of pain and I was just in very discomfort. And I tried to induce my labor at home with castor oil. And I talked to my provider beforehand trying that. Um, and I tried so many things to induce my labor and it didn't work and so at 39 weeks I got induced with Pitocin um, but Pitocin wasn't really doing anything I only had it for four hours but they asked me if I wanted to break my water and I didn't really think about it and I was like sure and as soon as they broke my water again my contractions started to get super painful and tense and I wouldn't even have a minute break until the next one would come and it was just it was very painful and I lasted an hour and then I got my epidural because it was just I had for an hour no breaks again and super intense pain and yeah so this time I'm really hoping to either I'm gonna go overdue and then hopefully being overdue trying to induce labor I've been researching a lot about like mile circuit exercises and different inducing labor exercises and just trying to move as much as I can walking and all of that stuff and hopefully this time it works if it doesn't then I will probably do the Pitocin again but not wait until wait to break my water until I go maxed out on the Pitocin maybe try to push the breaking my water as long as possible so I can try and progress as much as possible and maybe possibly just um, have my body start and just go all the way to the end without my breaking my water until the very end but that's my uh crazy thought crazy ideas of trying to go natural um i don't know i just always wanted to have at least one birth to go natural and experience it um and i don't know just feeling self like a self accomplishment that i could do it which i know i can um because many women have it's just as be as i said with my other two pregnancies i was induced and getting induced usually is a much more painful way and it's still several hours until you give birth but you're in excruciating pain with no breaks so but yeah that's that's pretty much it i'm i've had just what i'm planning on doing like an early labor to just walk and be and drink as much as possible um stay hydrated and eat and i just have eat some spicy food and then i have some i've been watching some breathing techniques for when i'm in active labor but yeah that's pretty much it um for the t just 22 week update what i've been doing so far what i've been up to um and just still feeling good um just other than the hip pain sometimes um but other than that um it's been good we have a name um 
and just slowly trying to get ready and um, I need to wash his clothes and just a lot of, a lot of different stuff that I need to do but little by little and yeah that is pretty much it so I will see you guys in my next vlog bye